Assalamu alaikum and welcome to your social studies lesson. I'm Mahu Miss and today we are going to be looking into the geography and natural features of Maldives. But before we start, let's look into some of the things you will be learning throughout the session. For you to be successful students, you need to identify, you need to be able to identify and locate Maldives from any given map. You should also have a very good understanding of the geography of Maldives, including the significant atolls like the capital city and maybe your own atoll. And you should also be able to identify the natural features of Maldives with along with the key terms we use for these features. So I hope you all are ready with your notebook and a pen. Let's get started, shall we? Maldives is located near the Indian Ocean, just below India, near the equator. And we have a total land area of 300 square kilometer, which is very small compared to the other Asian countries like China and um, India. As you can see, our country is 99% surrounded by water and because of this, our economy is dependent on two major industries. Can you think of what these two major industries are? Right, it's the fishing industry and the tourism industry. Okay, moving on. So, our country actually has 26 naturally occurring vertical atolls and these atolls are divided into 20 administrative ones with each atoll having its own inhabited and uninhabited islands and these islands they are usually one meter just above the sea level and did you know that the atolls the islands the islands in the atoll, they are almost very close to one another, meaning that during low tide, you can actually walk from one island to the another within maybe 10 minutes. That's pretty cool, right? But before we go back to the map, are you all familiar with the Tivehi letters? Now you're going to be wondering, Miss, why are you asking about Tivehi letters? Well, my dear students, the Tivehi letters they actually are very unique and they have a very special connection to our map. Just like how the, the Divei letters start from Ha, the atolls are named from Ha to Seen. And these are the names of the atolls. Here is a question for you. What is the capital city of Maldives and where is it located? Observe the map carefully and think of the answer. Right, it is Mali city and it's located in Kafato. Now you know the capital city of Maldives. What about the largest atoll? Well, the largest atoll is Huadu atoll and the largest Kandu is Huadu Kandu. And the largest island is Gain, which is in Lam atoll. And it is 8 kilometers long and 3.4 kilometers wide. Well, after lockdown, maybe we should go for a trip there because the island is very green and has lots of coconut palm. Now that we are familiar with the geography of Maldives, let's move on to the next part of the lesson, which is the natural features of our country. You already know that there are 26 naturally occurring atolls, right? But what is an atoll? Well, an atoll is a group of islands surrounded by a coral reef. An island is a piece of land. And as I said earlier, the atolls are surrounded by coral reefs, which is also known as faro. A reef is a bar of rocks, sand and corals which lays beneath the surface of the water. And 
what do you think comes after the reef? Well, I am imagining a deep dark blue sea. Did you also imagine that? Yes. So, surrounding every atoll, after the faru, we have kandu. And sometimes even inside the atolls, we can find deep blue sea. Here you can see this is an atoll and we have different islands in it. And then we have a coral reef. After the coral reef, we have dark blue deep sea. In some atolls like Addu Atoll, you can find other types of inland freshwater bodies called Kuli. Kuli, they are actually wet marshlands and sometimes they are surrounded by mangroves. Do you know that Kuli are really beneficial for the island? Can you think of how it can be beneficial? Let me tell you how. Mangroves helps to maintain water quality in Kuli because the dense network of roots filter and trap sediments and pollutants. They also provide nesting and breeding habitats for fish and shellfish, also migratory birds and sea turtles. Mangroves also helps to minimize coastal hazards such as soil erosion and shock waves we get from tsunamis or uda. Let's not forget the most important part. Mangroves or kuli are beautiful attraction sites. All right, looking into the next, looking into the rest of the natural features, each island has a villu. This is a deep area inside the lagoon and this area has a beautiful turquoise blue. And within the atolls and near the channels of the atoll, you will find underwater mountains with a top reef which can be explored within one dive. These are known as Tila. These areas are surrounded by amazing corals and beautiful ray fishes. If you look at Tila, you will see that many divers usually go for this look, usually go here to dive and see these corals and reef fishes. special feature is called Giri which is very similar to Tila because it is also an underwater mountain. However, there are some differences. For example, Giri is partially submerged in water and visible during low tides. However, you will not be able to see Tila from an aerial view of the map. This is because Tila is way deeper compared to Giri.
So these are the natural features of our country. Our beautiful country is a wonderful blessing Allah has gifted us with. When we think about it also, we know Allah has surrounded our island with a reef which protects us from strong waves. He placed underwater mountains with amazing fishes and corals. They attract a lot of tourists which contributes to our economy. Allah also placed inland water bodies like Kuli and Bedi in our islands. They protect our islands and gives us and provides us with a rich ecosystem. Not only this, Allah has also surrounded our islands with fascinating turquoise blue color of willow. These are countless blessings and we need to be grateful for us to be grateful and thankful towards these blessings. We need to avoid any kind of act that could bring harm to our environment. Okay, so within the atolls and the channels, we have underwater mountains known as Tila and Giri. Giri is partially visible, especially during low tide. But is Tila visible? No, Tila is deeper and that is why it's not that visible. And then we have Vilu which is the deep sea area in the lagoon where the color is so beautiful turquoise, remember? So I have been going on and on about natural features. But how much have you understood so far? Let's check that out. Here's what we're gonna do. I am going to show you pictures of different natural features. You are going to guess which feature it is and then you will write your answer. After some time, the answer will be shown on the screen and then you can check, you can self-assess to see if you got it correct. Easy, right? Let's start. Here are your first two pictures. Think carefully and then try to guess what these two features are showing. Okay? Did you get it right? Okay, here are the next two pictures. Remember to think very carefully, all right? I hope you got those two correct. Let's try these two pictures now. They look a bit tricky, I know, but you know, go back and think. Where, we, where, where in the lesson we talked about them. Did your answer match with mine? Okay, so these are the last two pictures. Hang in there. I'm sure you could do it. So, now that the answer is there, I hope you got all of them correct. And it's okay even if you got maybe one or two wrong. I'm sure you've already, I'm sure you have learned from this activity as well. Your task is to make a map of your atoll, identifying the important natural features that we discussed just now. Remember to include map keys and use appropriate colors for your map. If you have any questions, ask your teachers. And Google Earth will also be very helpful. If you want, you can also make a model of your atoll, like how I have made a model of my atoll. This is Addu Atoll. Here you will see that these white areas, these are the islands. And then we have the reef, Faro. It's a bit darker in color and it's surrounded by and it's surrounding the atoll. After the reef, we have the kando, which is the dark blue 
deep sea. Within the atoll also you can find some of the deep sea areas. The area between the atoll, between the island and the reef is a lighter, lighter shade in color because it's not that deep. And then here we have the underwater mountains Giri and Tila. As you can see Giri is a bit taller compared to Tila. This is because Giri is only 2 meters below the surface of the sea while Tila is 15 to 10 to 15 meters below the sea. And sometimes during low tides you can see the top part of the coral. That's why it's a bit brownish in color. While Tila, in the Tila part you will find colorful, beautiful, live corals. If you want, you can make your own atoll like this and then you can also maybe take a video of it and then present it to your teachers or you can also present it to your parents. Either way, it's fine. You can, after you complete your work, you can send it to your teachers. That's it for today. Thank you. And wassalamu alaikum.